Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Mystery Box Monday. Today we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, I think six mystery packages to open up. Also, we are going to be putting on sale very soon a very high-end mystery box, about $500 for the box. We've got 38 of them. It's called Jack Collins One of One Mystery Pack, so it's going to be going on sale soon on Patreon. If you'd like to grab one of those, we'll probably do those live next week week. So, before we get into this, if you would like us to take a look at your mystery pack, if you have something to send to us, you can send it to Jabs Family Mystery Box Monday, PO Box 402 Pleasant Unity, PA 15676, and we'll get it opened up on a future episode. So here we go, we're going to start things off with my local card store has a mystery pack, and they sent over a Mirrors Cards and More mystery pack. This is a $50 mystery pack. I grabbed one of these when I went to their card store about two weeks ago. I did a whole walk through their uh, card store. If you would like to visit it, you can visit it at this address, 116 Hyman Road, Latro, PA. So if you're like within, I don't know, an hour or so, if you're in the area and you want to check them out, you can do it there. And if you like what you see, they sell these individually. You can just contact them directly. Tyler Mears is the man you want to talk to. You can either text him. Or you can send them an email and set it up, and I think they might be willing to customize it for you. If you say, hey, I like baseball, they might uh, be able to do a baseball one for you. If you say, I like this or that, maybe they can customize it. So here we go, $50 mystery pack from Mears, Cards, and more. We did this mystery pack before. I, what did I spend? Like, I think 200 bucks there or so. Something like that, maybe. I can't remember. But I remember our mystery pack had nothing but football cards in it, and I didn't know anything about it. I got a Kenny Pickett rookie card. Um along with uh, Nigel Harris, I think, along with some other cards. So there wasn't much baseball in that one. And it looks like we might have some baseball in this mystery pack. Here we go. All right. Let's see what we have here. I see some baseball. All righty. So we start things off with a Josh Bell foil board card out of 875. It's a Brett Favre mosaic we got a Bryson Stott rookie, Lawrence Taylor football card. That one is, uh, I don't know the year because I don't know football that well, but it looks like, is that maybe an 82 tops card, folks? There is Trevor Lawrence Select. We've got a Shohei Otani card and an Aaron Judge in there as well. we got a rookie card of Sixto Sanchez, and typically these packs will have, I think, two slabs on average. We've got a Javi Baez and a Jared Kelnick rookie card in there. He's been on fire recently, having a great start to the season. Jonathan Stever rookie. And look at this, Fernando Tatis Jr. rookie card, PSA 9. His cards are going up. So that is a nice one. I'll put that with my Tatis collection, PSA 9 Tatis. And we also have an O'Neill Cruz. It is the Gem Mint Grading Company. It is a Quad 10 Gem Mint Grading is a newer grading company located down, I think he said, in Missouri. And actually, Mr. Mears' buddy owns this company, so he gets some of his stuff graded through them. And it is a nice O'Neill Cruise 2021 Bowman Chrome Quad 10 from Gem Mint. So there you go, Mears' cards. If you'd like to check him out, you can head over to his card store. I posted a video with all the hours there. You can watch it and hopefully give him some, uh, you know, if you're in the area, it comes to business. So next up, we've got TAG, the technical authentication and grading company, sent us a mystery box, which is pretty cool. So let's take a look at the note. The note says, Hey, Jabs, I work for a startup tech company in the collectible sphere called TAG Grading. There are several fans of your channel and our team, so we wanted to surprise you and your viewers with this Mystery Box Monday of our product. TAG has developed, developed patented machine learning software over the course of the past 10 years, which we feel it's been trained and verified by dedicated uh, sports card experts, and it delivers the future of card grading. With each card, you can scan the QR code on our label list transparent slab to see a full grading report with high resolution images and annotations to show you why each card was graded out the way that it did. You also receive high resolution images of your finished slabs to make showing them off and selling them online even easier. 
Our technology allows us to grade using a precise 1,000 point score, which translates into the industry standard 1 to 10 grade. Additionally, our POP report offers leaderboards where every card is ranked by its precise grade and chronology. We love this aspect as it truly differentiates 110 from another. So you might have you might have a whole bunch of PSA 9s, but one could have been, let's say, an 867 on the scale. One could be like a 932. That's uh, They really take it out a few more decimal places, it looks like, here. TAG is currently being very deliberate about how many cards we accept a month. And as our technology allows us to scale that window, we will rapidly be increasing. We have held three grading drops so far, all of which is sold out within the first 25 minutes. We'd love to offer the subscribers of your channel incentive to try our services. If any Jabs fans are interested in getting their cards tagged, please email info at taggrading.com or you can use the chat window at the taggrading.com to request a priority code that you can use to ensure access during our next grading drop. We're currently only offering online purchases for five or 10 card packages at $14 per card with a 20 day turnaround time during these special upcoming events. Let's take a look at the next page. It says each order comes complete with a complimentary submission kit and uh, with supplies and a prepaid shipping label to send your cards to us. It is our aim to make the grading process as easy and seamless as we would like it to be as collectors ourselves. We're currently accepting standard-sized cards manufactured from 2,000 to present up to 50-point stock. We do grade auth autographed cards as long as they are manufactured authenticated but are not currently grading die-cut, acetate, lenticular, or memorabilia cards at this time. It says, what you have here is a finished Five card order exactly as a customer what you would receive from them if you sent your cards off to be graded. This is what you would get back. It says, We hope you enjoy these, whether for yourself or as future giveaways for fans on your channel from JC at the Tag Grading Company. That's pretty cool. So here we go. We have a tag grading submission. And man, this is what they will look like. Here is their sell sheet. You can see this. Mike Trout rookie card got a 10. Its overall score was a 992 when you really break it down. And uh, you can scan that. I don't know. Maybe you can scan that QR code right there and get the report for that particular card. You can see the back. You can read through this. 10 years in the making tag is finally here. I think the note covered everything here's the submission kit which is pretty cool they send you a submission kit to help you get your cards to them that's always a problem for people there was like i'd like to send my cards in to be great but i don't know how to do it do i put in a top loader? do i put in one touch do i put in a card saver and some people were confused on that so they're trying to make it easier for maybe some, someone that just wants to get a couple cards graded maybe this is uh you know if you're new to getting cards graded this might be something you try five cards send them off to tag and see how it goes so let's take a look at this so when you send your cards away it looks like you would get back this nice black box with your cards all graded inside and this is sealed so let's go ahead and see what we have it says your cards are now tagged so the box has some text at the top it says how you can find that imaging report on your smartphone scan the qr code Tells you to focus your camera and if you've never used a QR code before. It'll bring up a link. That's, uh, that's pretty cool right there. So here we go. Looks like we get a nice little pack there. Man, the packaging on this is pretty good. It, this is uh, does not seem to be some fly-by-night company. It's, these, are, these are pretty legit looking right here. And inside that, each card is looks like wrapped up. Here we go with our first one. It's almost like opening a pack. I love it. It's like opening packs, tag packs. Let's see what we got first. All righty. This one is going to be an Aaron Judge. It is an Aaron Judge gallery card. You can see it got a 962. So if we focus in on that, you may be able to scan that code by, I don't know, holding your phone up to your TV or whatever, and seeing exactly how it broke down. You could try it on your own. I don't know if I got it focused well enough on there, 
but it is an Aaron Judge 2019 gallery card as the first one in this submission pack. Let's check the next one out. Pack number two. Cool stuff right there. We've got a Andy Van Slyke. These guys know who I like. Andy Van Slyke was my favorite player growing up. Is a fan favorite. 2004 tops. It got a 909, which would come out to a mint nine on the grading scale. And we'll zoom in on that in case you want to hold the QR code up and see how it breaks down and you know just do a little more research on that one. So Van Slyke and Judge. Next one up. Looks like it is a Showtime, Shohei Otani. This one is going to be the 87 Refractor Style card from 2022 Tops. It's got a 950. So the Judge is the best graded card so far. I'll zoom in on that a little more. I don't know if I have to zoom in really close for it to work on your phone if you're trying this at home. But it's a Shohei Otani 2022 87 Tops Refractor. Next one up. I like how these are all individually wrapped. We got a Grayson Rodriguez. Wow, that is a big prospect right there. It's a Grayson Rodriguez auto. How cool is that? You can see it got a 933. I kind of like the uh, how they break it down on a thousand point scale right there. So to get a Gem Mint 10, you need to get 950 or better. So 900 to 949 is going to get you a 9 if you're wondering how that rank, ranks again. Here's the whole – I'll show you the rubric once again. But that's a cool card right there. 2021 Leaf Flash Grayson Rodriguez. Here's the grading scale one more time. You can see it goes all the way down to 1. Anything 100 would be a 1. Here's the next one. Up. Last one of this tag grading – Box, it's O'Neill Cruz Chrome Cosmic. Very nice. It's a 9. It's a 914 on the grading scale. O'Neill Cruz Rookie Card 2022 Cosmic Chrome. Very cool stuff right there from the Tag Grading Company. So, again, if you'd like to check them out, you can send them an email at uh, info at Tag Grading. And it looks like they only take submissions every now and then when they have submission drops. You can submit. Uh, you can ask them, hey, I have five, ten cards, whatever I'd like to get graded, and they will send you a submission package. Really cool. I've never heard of them until right now. And uh, now, hopefully, some of you guys that are looking for maybe a grading card company might be able to find a home there. So thanks very much. The guys at Tag, I really appreciate you guys watching, and thanks for the submission on this episode of Mystery Box Monday. Moving right along, we've got the Three Leaf Clover Pack right here. There's a note with this pack. It says, hey, Jabs family, I'm Elliot Clover, and I've got a new mystery pack. This is the first time I've ever sent in a mystery pack, so I'm hoping they do good. I came across your channel about two months ago, and I checked out this video called Mystery Box Monday. I watched the entire video, which inspired me to create my own mystery packs. I've been saving up and collecting these mystery packs, and they're called the Three Leaf Clover Packs. I had to make my packs around the number three because it's the lucky number three. These packs will consist of three autos, three relics, three numbered cards, three... What? Three Shohei Otani rookies? Wow, that's uh, that's pretty good. Shohei Otani rookies are going up and up. They are very, very, very hot cards right now. 30 inserts as well. These packs are only $45 each, shipped with free shipping. I made a total of 60 of them. Hope you and your subscribers enjoyed. I also threw in a thank you pack to go along with it right here. Thank you very much for that. The eBay item number, if you like this... Three Otani rookie cards alone is going to be worth the uh, the price of admission here. The number is 394-585-581-625. If you type that in, it should bring it right up, and you will be able to grab one of these for yourself. Check his feedback on eBay, and let's go ahead and see what we get here. So inside, you'll get two packs. Again, three is the lucky number. Three rookies, three relics, three Otanis. Rookie cards, and away we go. Rookie card of Jackson Coar right there. 72 tops. Specio Spinks. I never heard that name before. Nothing too crazy yet. As we await the autographs, which are imminent. 
And the first pack, Gunnar Henderson, rookie card in there, the best card of that side. So this is this must be where all the good stuff is. Yep, I see a lot of top-loaded cards there. Cool stuff. I would say in the future, when you do these, take out that first pack. Don't even put that in there. And just focus on you got enough, you got enough selling points there that you don't even need to throw those in there unless you're just trying to get rid of some of your base cards. But hey, if you just do this, you would, you know, cut down on the cost of shipping. And, you know, me personally, I like opening the mystery packs where they kind of cut out all the fluff and they just give you the good stuff. But, you know, that's just me. Other people might want those extra cards. Just a suggestion. John Ellie, rookie, auto. It's the first one, Jonathan Galvez out of three ninety nine, And Chad Lewis. So those are our three autos. We've got Garrett Hampson out of 99. That's going to be the first of the regs. Fernando Tatis, senior relic. And the best card of the bunch. Hall of Famer Raleigh Fingers, Sweet Spot Classic. Like that. There's our Otanis. Here we go. So, this is where the value is going to fall in these Otani rookie cards. And we have three Otani rookies. We have his Diamond Kings rookie card from 2018. Awesome card right there. We got his opening day rookie card at the podium, his introduction into the big leagues. And we also have his 2018 Tops, the rookies insert rookie card. That is, those three cards alone for me are worth it. All right. So we got a thank you pack here from Elliot as well, Gunnar Henderson. We've got a nice Gary Sheffield game use bat. Awesome stuff there. Joey Gallo, gold rookie. I love gold rookie cards, especially of good players. Joey Gallo is a good one, having a better season this year without the shift, terrorizing him. And there's a Derek Jeter sport flicks. It says rookie on it. Pretty cool right there. That is a 1990, I think it's a 95 sport flicks card. 96. So that's why in the 90s, you got to be careful with rookies. It says Derek Jeter rookie, but his rookie is 93 toss. Still a really cool card. A lot of times they'd make prospect cards and just toss the word rookie on them. That's kind of why they standardized the um, whole rookie, um, rookie card logo in the mid-2000s. So you would know if it was a true rookie. All right, so this next one says, I've been making mystery packs for a month now. By the way, this is from Tyler. It says, and I've been informed by a few of my buyers that I should promote the mystery packs on your channel. I've been subscribed for a few years, but I haven't really had time to watch any of your videos. Here's a rundown of the packs. MLB Baseball Hot Packs, guaranteed autograph or relic. Packs are only $6 each. That's, uh, hey, that's pretty good. $6, guaranteed auto, guaranteed relic. Guaranteed auto or relic, I should say. 100% positive feedback with 3,000 transactions. You get one base rookie, one base all-star, a parallel, a serial number card, and one relic or autograph as well. Goes on to tell you a little more here. Shipping's only one buck. Wow, I don't know. How do you get that done for one dollar? That's pretty pretty good. Only international shipping will pay more. That is a steal of a deal. If you'd like to grab one of these, you can scan that QR code on your phone and see if it pops up. If it doesn't, type this number in 404-168-533-899, and it should bring these up. Only $6 a pack. A low risk here. So here we got Will Craig, a former first-round pick of the Pirates. Will Craig, kind of a bonehead. Not a very smart guy. He's the guy that... Uh, Started running Javi Baez back to home plate instead of just touching first base a couple years ago. And I don't think he's been in the big leagues really since. And Midray Cummings, another Pirates former prospect right there. So Will Craig, first Bowman, that's out of 50. Pack number three, kind of working our way back here. In this next one, we have a another Pirates hit. This one's going to be a first Bowman from 2017 of Dylan Busby. Got J.D. Martinez, Bryson Stott rookie card in there. James Simmons numbered. James Marvel out of 250 and an Adam LaRoche gold card. So far, the flavor has been Pirates. Here's pack number two. And we've got another Pirates auto. It's going to be Jack Herman. So maybe it seems like he may kind of, uh, you know, customize the packs to the area that you live in. Me being closest to Pittsburgh, giving some Pirates. we got Jack Herman. Joey Votto, Tristan McKenzie, and also there's a numbered card there of Eric Threets out of 100 and Joe Musgrove gold. Here's our fourth and final pack. Just worked our way backwards here through them. It's a relic. It's Tyler Glass now. That's a pretty decent one because it is his rookie relic from Fire. So a nice Glass now rookie relic. Showtime's in there along with George Felice. Got a numbered card there and Starling Marte out of 50. 
So, hey, I don't know how you get it done for six bucks, but that's pretty awesome. And here is our bonus. I'm wondering if he does it, uh, those little card saver packs that uh, eBay has for shipping now. And sometimes you might buy a single card and only pay a dollar shipping on eBay. That is a pretty good deal, though. Will Craig again, first Bowman out of 50. Dylan Busby again out of 150. Will Craig again, and another Dylan Busby. So, man, I think somebody may have picked up a big collection of Will Craig and Dylan Busby autos. And there's another one right there. Sometimes folks will have big collections like that for sale. I bought one myself at the Gregory Plonka collection at a card show. Not all that long ago, maybe a couple months ago, there's a Tim Wakefield out of 495. There's Polanco, and there's another Dylan Busby. I gotta look him up now and see if Dylan Busby is still in the big. Not, not. I don't think he ever made the big leagues, but see if he's still playing in the minors and has a chance to make the big leagues. Mitch Keller rookie card is a nice one. There's Gregory Polanco, Jason Grilly, Chris Archer, and Jose Ozuna gold in there as well. So thank you very much. Hope you guys check him out. We'll move on to the next one. This one here is the Addison $5 pack. It says, hello, my name's Addison. I've watched your channel for about two years, and you got me back into baseball cards. I live in Cleveland, but I originally am from Uniontown, PA. That's just down the road from here. I'm a huge Buccos fan, too. I wanted to create a very affordable pack that gives you either a numbered card, some color, or relic. I don't have many autos, so I couldn't offer those. Let me know what you think. It's $5 plus shipping, 23 available. The number on eBay is 334 Eight four zero seven two nine eight zero two. If you type that into the search bar, it'll bring it right up. So for five bucks, this is what you get. And he included a thank you pack as well. Alrighty, so let's see what we've got. Get some base cards here, and we've got Mark Ken upside down. It's going to be a gold. Jackson Joe Mojo Bobby Witt rookie card is the nicest card so far. And Royce Lewis. So, folks, if you'd like to check it out, just five bucks. I would say, um, you know, not too bad. Nice that you put a Bobby Witt in there. I would hope that every pack would have at least one of the top rookies in there. And if they do, not too shabby. I don't, I don't know how to open tea bags apparently anymore. Let's just go ahead and get some help. The old good old box cutter. Thank you, pack of some Pirates cards. Chris Benson, former first-round pick by the Pirates back in the day. Also, Jason Kendall in there, another first-round pick. And Henry Davis, another first-round pick. I'll be watching him in the minor leagues, at least keeping an eye on his stats. He's at double A this year again, and he was not happy about it. I was hoping he was going to start at triple A, but got surpassed by Andy Rodriguez in or on our depth chart. Here's this last one, last one of this video, and here's the note. It says, hello, Jabs. I'm an eBay seller named Colin. You're my inspiration to stay in the hobby. Now, about the pack. You'll be opening the $50 Bat Breakers Mystery Pack. So 50 bucks. It contains stars, rookies, and hit packs. I've created 10 packs, not including this pack, so they're guaranteed a return on your investment. Some of the top chasers are Otani's rookie, Acuna's rookie, Duke Snyder Hall of Fame Auto, Yvonne Rodriguez patch, and several more. If you like what you see, the code... The type in the eBay search bar is 304-881-383203. says, I'll try to be as honest as possible, and if the series goes well, I'll make a Series 2 from Colin Zito. Fairport Fanatics cards. There's a thank you pack here. It's 50 bucks. Let's see what we have. So we'll start off with the, this looks like it might be base rookies. 50 bucks. Most of the value is probably going to fall in that hits pack. And that's what we got. Mostly base rookies and prospects. O'Neill Cruz, probably the best one there. Here's the star pack. Got Juan Soto on the top. He's starting to come along, getting that average up over 200. Shohei, Shohei Otani, of course, our brightest star in the game right now. Alejandro Kirk is in there and Kyle Tucker. There is a this card floating in the package. I pre-opened everything to save time. It's a Ronald Acuna Jr. Uh, home run challenge card. You scratch that back. Pick a game when he hits a home run, and if you get a chance to go to the home run derby, also get a free Acuna card. Let's check the thank you pack, then we'll finish things up with the Lenny Dystra 91. Some cards from 1991 in there. We'll finish up with this. Thank you very much for the thank you pack. All right, it's in one of these clamshell cases. All right, here we go. 
$50 pack. This is where all the value is going to be. Tristan McKenzie. It's a short print. It says, look at the back of the card. It is a bazooka back. Very nice. Those are tough, tough finds right there. Tristan McKenzie bazooka back rookie card. Very, very nice card. We've got a no-name Rymel Tapia. And the final card, it is an Ichiro gold cup card right there. So I think he said he made 10 of these up. Definitely the best card was that Tristan McKenzie. I'm kind of curious. I'll have to get on eBay and see what that goes for. Also, the Ichiro gold cup is a nice one as well. And there, there you have it. That is this edition of Mystery Box Monday. Thank you, everybody, for watching. We'll be live tomorrow with Team Break Tuesday. So if you'd like to participate, that is filling now. And the Bowman rounds are filling pretty fast. If you like to grab a spot, also we'll be giving away a Kyle Ripken Jr. 1994 Fleer autograph, PSA 10, to somebody in the break. We'll randomize that off at the end of the night. So check that out. Tomorrow we'll also have Mickey Mantle boxes. 2021 Tops Mickey Mantle boxes. I've never opened them before. Finally found some, and I'm going to open those up tomorrow. So we'll have a double upload day for you with our live stream of Team Break Tuesday along with the Mickey Mantle boxes. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. That's it for right now. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Monday, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.